Good evening. Welcome to a show that's late at night with your host, Lanelle Ingram, where we talk about all things interesting in arts and cultures that's happening in our world right now, especially in the time of the corona. First and foremost, the big news is that about 70% of our theaters are open now. The movie Tenet by Christopher Nolan was released this last weekend to okay numbers, but okay for all things considered. So we'll see. The movie executives, theater owners are interested to see what's going to change going forward based on the numbers of this. So we'll find out. Are we going to be watching movies from the comfort of our own homes for the foreseeable future? In other news, the Venice Film Festival is happening in person right now. So that's the first big event where stars are walking the red carpet this year. And, well, you know, I can understand the desire to get back to that because truthfully, if a star doesn't walk down a red carpet, do they ever exist at all? Today I learned that there is an influencer awards ceremony. In other art culture news, there has been an auction this last weekend for a Van Gogh painting, an alleged Van Gogh painting. This is a contested piece where there's people on both sides who say it is, it isn't his. And of course the auction house is claiming that it is, even though they admit that they cannot prove this. The Van Gogh Museum disputes their claim and there's a lot of back and forth about whether this is an early Van Gogh piece or not. But nonetheless, it sold at auction for $651,000. Ah, to be a dead artist. And we are in luck because Van Gogh is on tap to give us his own commentary. Vincent, take it away. Disgust me, you know. This is not what art is about. It is not about dollars and cents. It is not about money. It is about soul. It is the flesh of God on paper from the artist's soul. You people do not understand. You make it an investment. It is disgusting. It is pathetic. It is total misunderstanding. And all the world needs is more color, not your money, more yellows, more brilliance. You just make me so sad. So much sadness. I'm going to the brothel. Oh. Next thing I want to talk about that's kind of a cultural movement that started many, 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 many years ago is arts as activism. Now you can go back to Picasso's Guernica, the most famous potentially anti-war piece ever made, or um, Norman Rockwell's painting, The Problem We All Live With, that depicts a six-year-old Ruby Bridges. Art has been used to draw attention to injustices and problems the world over for a very long time. And the advantage to using art as activism is that Activism is exceptionally important. If you can go out and march and hold signs and write letters to your legislators, that is all exceptionally important. What arts can accomplish that the grassroots movement maybe cannot is creating an emotional connection to an issue. So it, you kind of need both sides of it. You need the side that's pushing for the change, but you need the side that's communicating what the problem is and why it matters. So right now, there's incredible work happening. So Converse, the shoe company, is sponsoring 13 murals that will go in different cities. And the murals themselves actually act as scrubbers for air pollutants. Infamous street artist Banksy has actually gotten their own refugee boat that they've painted pink and are out picking up refugees at sea that are in trouble. Many artists are using their paintbrush and their skills to try to convince young people, old people, to go and vote at the polls, use their voices. And for civil rights, there's Black Lives Matters murals. There's statues going up for women's rights where other statues maybe have been torn down that didn't reflect 
what's important to us as a society anymore. So artists right now are using their skills with a paintbrush, a spray paint can, their design skills, everything that they have at their fingertips to get their messages out into the world, to try to encourage people to fight for a better planet, a better society, to be better people. And it's incredibly inspiring and it's the voice that we have, it's the tools that we have to work with, so why not put them to use? It's true. That's true. Imagine if you would, if artists ruled the world. Everything would be beautiful and strange, but of course incredibly unorganized. We would lose all of the senators under stacks of canvases in the studio. They would just be lost for weeks at a time. Houses of worship would be art galleries and museums and gardens. Art supplies would be the new currency. You want a burger at McDonald's? That'll cost you three sheets of watercolor paper. Well, three sheets of good watercolor paper, that ought to buy you a really good burger. Well, I will leave you on that. I hope that you yourself may be inspired to either create or support artists who are trying to do good in the world. Take a moment to appreciate what's out there and the effort that goes behind the communications that we take for granted every day. And until next time, stay safe, make things, I love you guys. Good night.